How old is Boozy? I don't know. I guess he got to be in his early 40s or late 30s. I don't know. Okay, so you add it up. He had to be in elementary school. He, he, you know, he had like, we know these people, these players and shit like this. Who? You the fuck? You don't know the fuck about it. You was in elementary school, dude. You don't know two o'clock. Hey, hey, you, you don't know, you don't know no players, dude. So you need to stop speaking up on shit that you don't know about. Cause you was in elementary school playing hopscotch or something, motherfucker. You know? Playing tingling winks or something, dude. Yeah. He always in everybody fucking business, too. That's another thing. That motherfucker, boy, he'd speak up on any fucking body. He need to get him some fucking business, you know? To me, he need to get him some fucking business. He's all in everybody business. But he got some business. He got some business he got to handle right now. Hey, it's your boy, Jim CB Ladder. We back with another video, man. It's crazy, because uh, Keefy D, man, out here wild. I know your boy Boosie, man. He say, my guy need to mind his business, man. He got pressing matters in his own business to attend to. So why he worried about everybody else's? And, um, you know, the Tupac thing is a big, it's, it's a big issue, man. It's like, you fans, we all fans of Tupac, man. We got love for Pac. Uh, Boosie got love for Pac. Um, it's Pac fans, man. We just, the whole Keefy D. Orlando thing, we ain't jacking it, man, um. It's crazy because all uh, you can't do something and be publicized and want to be known for it and want to be prayed for putting in work, but you upset because people taking their feelings and things ish and what they feel with about you in any type of way because you committed a crime and assassinated or you were implicated or a part of assassinating an individual that everybody loves. So that comes with punishment. It comes with its own scrutiny. That thought is like that. And it do want to others as you want done to you. Be respectful to others as you want others to be to you, man. And that's basically what the gist of it is now. Kind of get the standpoint, hey, yo, he was in elementary school. You wasn't even thought about. We weren't thinking about you and these running around committing now crimes or whatever we was doing or we was putting down for our set now gang at the end of the day we all know the story Pac and the MOB guys jumped on Orlando <clears throat> Orlando had to get his get back that night and that's how that went but and also when people like old government conspiracy the feds and in, in, in the local law enforcement and everybody knew this was a thing they knew what was going on they know what was going on they was following uh, Big, they was following Pac, they was following both haunts of Roses. Um, Tupac was into a lot as far as the situation that happened in New York, uh, the, the Quad Studios incident, um, shooting the two off-duty uh, police officers in L.A. Uh, Pac had a lot going on, being a baby panther, being a stepson of Matulu Shakur, his aunt being inside of Shakur, the history of Tupac is known. Of course, the feds were found. Um, and these things could have been prevented, I mean, but they didn't want to blow their case or their cover, so they didn't step in. And now we have what we have. Not. And you can't do something in this way expecting nobody not to be upset by it. How you doing? And expecting nobody not to be upset by it. And now... We got what we got. But that's all for the commentary.